on a sudden leap. I've been working on the time machine all day. <laughs> so literally, we all need to eat. Okay. Joshua is so cool. I'm glad. No, for real. He taught me how to strategize wars between nations. He taught me the marching formations around Jericho. Dad's never gonna want this guy to leave. <laughs> but Sam, the plan is dinner time, then Bible time, then zap them away. Oh, you're here again? I yes, he is normal. Uh, Mr. Normal. Bauer, who else? Who are you? Your hospitality is so kind. Is your husband still working for the day? <laughs> husband, no, yeah, no, hey. <laughs> it's just me. She's perfect. Wait, you like Aunt Faye? Did you say Aunt Faye? She's a girl. I mean, mom's a girl and girls are fine, but you. Dinner's almost ready, Sam. Thanks, Aunt Faye. Oh, are you? You are, you are. <gasps> You let me out of this closet right now, young man, or I will tell your Aunt Faye. I will tell Aunt Faye that you're so in love with me. Sam? There you are. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Stay here, but I'm hungry too. Act casual. Is someone else joining us? Look who it is! It's Mr. Bauer! Get out of the closet or so help me. Oh, you want to join us for dinner, you say? What a fun surprise! No more surprises. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All you have to do is eat her food so she's real happy. Mr. Bauer would love to join us for dinner. This family table has so many choices. Ah, they have all the food here. Yes, Mr. Bauer. Did you know that Faye is a great cook? <laughs> well, that doesn't surprise me at, at all. Oh, Mr. Bauer, no. um, Faye? why don't you just try Ruth's Faye? dish over no, there? Faye? Healthy, Faye? nutritious, Faye? please, just, please, no, 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 it would be better if you, no, 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 Mr. Bauer, grab it. Faye, if you made it, I'm sure I will love it. See? I've got, I've got, I've got no words. Oh. Mm. Mr. Bauer, oh. please. It's so good, no, it's just tea, and it's so good, and cheesy, and fluffy, and my dad will do a tea fly. What are you eating? Mm, that was really good, too. Oh, this is about you? This? Mmm, let me tell you this. Well, this is, there's nothing else like it. Uh, wow. You really do love Aunt Faye. Faye's, Faye's food. Yes, I, I, I love Faye's cooking. It's, it's so delicious. There's, there's nothing else in the world like it. Yeah, well, I'm full. Uh, time for Bible time. Are you kidding me? We have the Bible sitting right here in front of us. Just pick a chapter from their lives. Sure, but Joshua, no. why don't you tell us about Jericho? Ah, uh, yes, we just celebrated Passover. Yeah, of course, the great destruction of the ancient walls of Jericho at Passover. It's the foreshadowing of Christ's perfect sacrifice to release all of humankind of all of their bondage of sin. And the walls of separation collapsed. <laughs> But I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ruth, tell us, 
What was it like when you met, uh, what's his name again? It was... It's mom and dad. They're calling. You have to pick up the phone. Not happening. Okay. No, you have to pick up the phone. <laughs> no. Okay. Why do you think I'm going to say to them? No, what do you, how do you think I'm going to talk to them? Listen to my voice. No, been. I can't no, talk to them. No, they're not going to understand this. fake. You need to pick up the phone now. No. I could talk to your father. No. no. Pick up the phone. Hello? Hi, hi, Dad, brother. Faye? My brother, I'm Faye. I am Faye. <laughs> and we are having dinner. Oh, perfect. Can we talk to Sam? You want to talk to Sam? Oh, no, you don't want to. Ah, he's got a big mouth. Big, fat mouth. No, full of food. Because he just took a bite <laughs> of dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you still want to talk to him? That's good, because no, yes. Well, why wouldn't you want to talk to him? Because he's a brilliant little guy. Hey, Dad. Sam? You okay? You sound... Uh, no, I'm, I'm so good. He has a stuffy nose. Uh, super stuffy. Lots of mucus everywhere. Uh, Dr. Snot Balls. I mean, there's snot balls everywhere. <laughs> yeah, snotty snotterson all over the place, yeah. Yeah, that happened. But how are you and Mom doing? Hi, Sam. I love you. Oh, hey, Mom. I love you, too. That is a stuffy nose. Faye, I have a whole cabinet of homeopathic oils and supplements to help little Sam feel better. That's good. I'm so glad. I, that would be really helpful. Sam, we've had the craziest week. Oh, really? You've I mean, you've had the craziest week, huh? T tell me what happened. Swarms and swarms of bees have been circling around the city. Bees? Really? Just like you said. So the conference is canceled. We're at the airport now. We should be home later tonight. Tonight? Surprise! <laughs> that is a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> that's a, that is a surprise. <laughs> I can't wait to see you, big guy. Yeah, I can't wait to see you too, Dad. <laughs> hey, look at the time. I mean, I don't know what time it is over there, but it's Bible time over here. You're probably about to get on a plane or do something awesome like that. Hope you have a really great flight. Bye! <gasps> We've got to get you guys out of here now! We're still in the beta testing phase of the return zapping process. You see, the synergistic vortex algorithm is a lot more difficult in reverse than it is forward. It's a lot easier to move forward than it is backward. Okay, the Bible spans about 4,000 years and I don't want to send Joshua back to the wrong time period, which puts Jericho at 1400, 1500 BC. Uh, are you sure you have the right time? Yeah, see, Joshua, Israelites went to Jericho. And Phil. What? Philistines. Win. Philistines win here. Philistines take Jericho. That is our promised land. We just have to send Joshua back into the Bible. He's the superhero of the Bible. He can fix it. But Phil is in all of these battles. Look, what? and years later. Phil's been zapping all over time, even out of biblical history. There's no popcorn machines in the Bible. He's been taking trophies from every kingdom he's conquered. He has a lion's den? What? How can he? What are you doing? I didn't do anything. Sam doesn't want you in his family anymore. But he's my brother. I know he'll come and save me. Sam already changed the story to the way that he wants it, and you're not in it. <laughs> Sam, you've grown. Yeah, well, you just look s smaller than I remember. Has he always been this big, or is it just because Enough! Came to thank you, Sam. Y you're welcome. Because of you, my people have taken over the story. Yeah, so about that. I've won battles, destroyed cities, and even restored the great name of the Philistine people. All that in a day, huh? What would be the absolute worst thing to disappear from that book? I think you've done enough in God's story. Why don't you go and ruin another ancient world somewhere? That's not God's story anymore. It's mine. <laughs> You didn't want him in your story anyways, did you? You're welcome. Not to repay me. I want that book. What are you gonna do, zap in and out of every chapter? 
the ones that I want. Maybe yours. Phil. I'm a Himalek. Be God of Ashtad. Be God of Hagish. It is all right. My story is very small. No, no. Your story connects directly to the family line of the Messiah here. See? Me? That is my name. My story points to the Messiah. Phil! Listen! You don't get it. Everything in that book is mine. I'll make a deal with you, Sam. Are you in that story? No. Not really. So it's not your story anyways. What do you love, Sam? Your mom? Your dad? And it's yours. Exactly what you wanted. Right here. And if you ever leap into my story, I'll take everything from you. But what if- Listen, foolish child, I'm through with negotiating. I'm taking her with me. No! You come closer, she's done. No! You got exactly what you wanted. No, you, you can't take Aunt Faye. Just did. Faye! We'll see you next time on a sudden leap.